Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean, Sean Russell and welcome to my Dynamic Programming Series. So in this video we're going to be learning how to use the list box. So yeah, the list box component, let's start. I already have my form here, let's start coding. 800 by 600, oops, uh, why did I thought that in there? I have no idea. <coughs> anyway, it is 2 a.m. and I'm programming again. Woo! Yeah, if I am home, <coughs> the caption should be uh, the list box component. Okay, so what are we going to do, going to do today? Let's add a labeled edit component. Let's align it to huh. level it, it doesn't have an alignment align property that's interesting well then let's not align it this gives us this gives me a chance to introduce you guys to margins a bit let's change the font to 12 or maybe 15 and then the edit labels caption we change to enter a planet name and the font should be 20 let's hide oops where's the font here it is 20 that's big okay like that great Let's make it like this. Let's add a button. So you could, of course, align the button such as this. That's not nice. So we're gonna align it to top. But then, but then it does this. So now we can use margins to fix this. For instance, we can add the top. Let's first um, enable the align with margins property. And then we can change basically the margins. I will talk about margins and padding later in this series. Anyway, can I give it a margin 40, 50, 60, 100, 90, 80? And basically, what margins are and the left margin of let's see what this label edits 8. Then we give it the left and right margin of 8. And yeah, that's basically margins. Let's also give it. Uh, let's not use. No, let's go 8. Okay. Let's change the font of the button to 20. Caption. Click me. Can okay, they give the button a name of. BTN click me Layout edit we rename to where's the name property LBL EDT uh, input so now let's add a list box component so here's our our list box align it client Let's call it LST box. Or just call it list. LST, I mean. Okay, list output. Okay, let's start writing some code. Wait, let's first change the font to 15. Okay, so click me. Let's just change the key click me. Change to click me's cursor to hand point. Okay. So we can add. Before before we do this, we can like add our, our own strings here in the items D strings. And you can basically add your own stuff here, as you can see. And you can also sort it of you can also sort it alphabetically. Um, let's just first remove this. So you can sort this alphabetically by enabling the sorted. Um, uh, property but it's really let's add an A there and 
Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Then we can sort it alphabetically. As you can see, it's already sorted alphabetically now. So that works. Let's remove this. We'll leave it alphabetically. And it's also a multi select. I haven't yet used this. Let's test it out. Let's add some values. Let's first disable it and basically multi select should be now you can select one value at a time or one item but with multi select enabled you should be able to select two values at a time yes things like this I have no idea let's see okay yes so multi select means you can you can you can um, select multiple items at, items at the same time let's remove this and write some code so basically let's write code uh, lst output dot items dot add uh, lbl edt input dot text Compile and then we just add planets such as Earth. Ah, let's first clear the thing LBL <coughs> EDT input dot clear and LBL EDT input dot not my mistake <coughs> dot set focus. Okay, let's try that again. Earth, um, Mercury, I can't spell Mercury, Mercury, ah, Mercury, and Venus. And basically, just what it does, you can add uh, different thing items to the this box. What we can also do is, uh, let's, what can I do now? Let's add another button to this form. And move the top margin, make it zero. Let's call this button something else. Uh, something else. Okay. What you can also do is you can um, LSD. output dot items different stuff you can do for instance um, here you can clear it you won't be clearing it now so you just you can basically just just clear all the items in it which we won't do you can um, count the items how many there are for instance let's show this show message uh, into to stream because this is a uh, integer it returns Let's just add some items and you can count it. That's basically free, as you can see. Uh, what else is there? LSD output dot items dot. So you can also delete a certain item at the index. So basically, say delete and let's delete the um, third item in the list so let's do that first item second item third item fourth item fifth item and then so it shows we have five items and then it should now delete the fourth item as it did or the third item i mean sorry what else can i do let me show you some more stuff Dort. You can also insert an an item into the in, uh, at the certain uh, at a certain index, uh, which is a certain position, and then also the string. For instance, let's show this also. Insert insert, insert it at number three, and it should be and it should insert hello world. So if you add, so if we now add some bogus. Um, strings 
let me say something else if we first count it and delete the third one and then insert hello world at the third one also oh, that's the third this is the first one second one third one so, so it inserts inserts it after after the third one so basically the fourth one you can also um, move items around I'm not going to show you show you guys this now you can play around with it a bit um, what else is there yeah let's show the save to file one save to file basically just 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 create a file for it so we can this first save our project I'm sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird today uh, yeah anyway desktop PC YouTube programming uh, list box component call this oops get it home and oh I saved it at the wrong place never mind I'll just move it later list box component let me just go fix that. I'm sorry. Okay. YouTube programming. Toppy. Let's move all of this stuff to the correct folder. And open it again. Basically, what the uh, um, save to file procedure does is it basically creates a text file or whatever file you want to create and then just basically stores it for you guys. Which I'll show you now. You can also load a file. Uh, let's compile so here's our exe as you can see uh, something else we create a text file with all the items in it so we will call it uh, this is my text file dot txt we compile add some data again then something else, then items, yada yada yada, and save. And now you, can, now you guys can go check here is a text file of all the items. And we'll talk more about text files in later videos. Um, but yeah, let's call this something else too. Let me show you guys how to load a, load a, load a text file now. So this would be. But, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Basically, just load the same file, compile, and then boom, so you can also load a file, a text file. So, guys, uh, ah, this video. I think that's all for today. Um, not today, maybe, maybe I'll make a, another, another video. Anyway, Thanks for watching, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next video.